if good men or women of the future hear this earth stalking Bodhisattva's name, praise him for his incredible vows, spiritual powers, and compassion. They introduce everyone to earth star Bodhisattva. You have heard this sutra, so you should introduce the compassion and vows of earth star Bodhisattva to every colleague, relative, or friend you see. Reflect to earth star Bodhisattva makes vows like this, so what should I do? Should I make a tiny vow? Perhaps becoming a Buddha after I deliver one living being to Buddhahood. Perhaps becoming a Buddha after I deliver two living beings to Buddhahood. I do not make any great vows, just little vows. Even that would mean that I have not wasted listening to the Earth Star Sutra. If you simply let it go by so that the Bodhisattva is the Bodhisattva and I am me, he and I do not have too many connections, then it is as if you did not hear it. For instance, men should make vows about saving their ex-friends when they have become Buddhas. Women should consider this. I had a dearest boyfriend before. Now that I am cultivating, I'm going to make sure he becomes a Buddha first, then I will follow. Make vows like this. Avoid. Amitabha Buddha takes his own. Mahasattva cares about no others. Perhaps you say, I'm really young and have never had a boyfriend or girlfriend. You have a mom and dad, make vows to save them so they become Buddhas. What if your parents have already passed away? You have siblings. No sibling, you can save your friends. Make vows targeting someone or some group. If there is no one else, you can say, I will make a vow to save my drama brother so that he becomes a Buddha for sure. You may laugh at me, but I will tell you. If any disciple who has taken refuge with me does not become a Buddha, I will not become a Buddha either. I may have, no, I may not have vows as huge as earth stalking Bodhisattva, wanting to save all beings so that they become Buddhas. I qualify it with those who have taken refuge and disciples who truly believe in me. If such people do not become Buddhas, I will wait for them. Even if they fall into their house, I will go down to their house to find them. This is not too bad either. It is quite great. It takes many lives of planting good fruits to encounter a teacher like this. Behold and bow to him, call his name. Recite the holy name of great vows earth stalking Bodhisattva as we explain the earth star sutra now, my words Earth stalking Bodhisattva is really amazing at praises. Incantations of homage to the great vows of stalking Bodhisattva are recitations of his name, make offerings to him. Now that we have invited the elder earth stalking Bodhisattva here, we make offerings by lighting incense for him daily, bowing to him and making him offerings of fruits or if they draw a colored picture of earth stalking bodhisattva not even on wood but just a drawing of this buddha image makes your appearance adorned and perfect there are 32 hallmarks and 80 minor subsidiary characteristics to the buddha draw a buddha image and you will be better looking Draw two, even better. Draw three, four, five, millions and millions. Then you will have the thirty-two hallmarks and the eighty subsidiary characteristics. In general, drawing Buddha images and making Buddha images will make you very good looking. Carve, cast, sculpt, or make lacquered. Images of him, such people will be reborn in the heaven of the 33, 100 times. One drawing of a Buddha image 
will lead you to become reborn in the heaven of 33 for 100 rounds. These 100 rounds include not only births in the heaven of 33. Someone who draws a Buddha image will first be reborn 100 times in each level of the 69 heavens and the 18 heavens of the fall realm, the three heavens of the first dhyana, the three heavens of the second dhyana, the three heavens of the third dhyana, the nine heavens of the fourth dhyana, and even the heaven of the station of neither thought nor non-thought in the formless realm and others. Before he is reborn in the heaven of 33, 100 times, he has been born in each level of the desire realm, form realm, and formless realm 100 times. This is a long time and will never fall into the evil paths. As long as you praise, behold, and bow, recite the name, make offerings, or make different images of earth stalking Bodhisattva, then you will never fall into the evil paths. Manjushri Bodhisattva, indescribably many ends ago, there is no way to say how long that is or how many ends that is. This is just as incalculable as the analogy used earlier for a long period of time. If each blade of grass, tree, forest, rice plant, hemp stalk, bamboo, reed, mountain, rock, and dust mold in a 3000 grade thousand world system was the Ganges River, then suppose that each grain of sand in each of those Ganges rivers was the world, and that each dust mold in each of those worlds was an end. Then suppose that each dust mold accumulated in each of those ends was itself an end. This number is bigger than and more difficult to calculate than the number representing the amount of force required to send a rocket to the moon. We are using math to calculate the force needed to shoot a rocket into a certain spot in space to stop it or to orbit it. After the exact figures needed for fuel have been calculated with mathematics, the rocket is shot into the atmosphere. This is calculable. However, no matter how advanced mathematics develops or how precise science gets, there is no way to calculate the number of ends that earth stalking Bodhisattva has gone through. During the time of a Buddha named Lion Sprint complete in the thousand in the ten thousand practices thus come one. Earth Star Bodhisattva Mahasattva was the son of a great elder. At that time there was a Buddha in the world named Lion Sprint. Lions are the king among beasts. As long as a lion roars, all the beasts are frightened into paralysis and collapse or become numb. The name of this Buddha is like a lion. Sprint is an indication of the speed at which lions run. The Buddha is named complete in the 10,000 practices because he is replete with the six parameters and the myriad conducts. Sutra, that eldest son. Upon observing the Buddha's hallmarks and fun features and how the thousand blessings adorned him, asked that Buddha what practices and vows made him so magnificent. Land sprint complete in the ten thousand practices thus come one, then said to the eldest son, If you wish to have a body like me, you must first spend a long time liberating beings who are undergoing suffering. Commentary that eldest son, upon observing the Buddha's hallmarks and fine features, he saw the first common lion sprint complete in the 10,000 practices, have 32 hallmarks and 80 subsidiary characteristics and a thousand blessings that adorn. How come he has 32 hallmarks and 80 subsidiary characteristics? It is because of a thousand blessings that adorn him. Cultivating the five precepts and the ten good deeds turns into one hundred blessings. 
each number turns into 10, making a total of 100, uh, of 1,000. Each blessing accumulates so that there are 1,000 blessings. And this is how the 1,000 blessings are done to him. He asked that Buddha, what practices and vows made him so magnificent, seeing how perfect and wonderful the Buddha's features are. He asked, thus come one lion sprint complete in the 10,000 practices. What practices did you cultivate before and what vows did you make before so that you have such features? Lion sprint complete in the 10,000 practices, thus come one, then, then said to the elder son, If you wish to have a body like mine, let me tell you, you must first spend a long time liberating beings who are undergoing suffering, when all beings who suffer are saved, leaving behind their suffering, then your appearance will be perfect, meaning that once you save living beings, so that they become Buddhas, you become Buddhas. Sutra Manjushri, that comment caused the eldest son to make a vow, from now until the end of future time throughout uncountable ends, I will use expansive expanding means to help beings in the six paths who are suffering for their offenses. Only when they have all been liberated will I myself become a Buddha. From the time he made that great vow in the presence of that Buddha until now, hundreds of thousands of Nayutas of inexpressibly many ends have passed, yet he still is a Bodhisattva. Commentary Manjushri Bodhisattva That comment caused the eldest son to make a vow. When this eldest son heard lion sprint complete in the 10,000 practices thus come one, say this, that he made a vow. He said, from now until the end of future time. The eldest son refers to himself about how he went through who knows how many infinite ends until the end of future. That is why he says throughout uncountable ends. How can future ends disappear? They will not, which is why this number of ends is incalculable. I will use expansive expanded means to help beings in the six paths who are suffering for their offenses. For living beings in the six realms who suffer and create offenses, since every thought and every move of living beings in the Saha world are offenses and karma, they are beings. They are the beings that offend and suffer in the six realms. The six realms are heavenly beings, human re humans, asuras, hell beings, hungry ghosts, and animals. I vastly established various, not just one, expanding practices. Only when they have all been liberated leaving suffering and acquiring blessings, realizing Buddhahood soon. Only when all beings have become Buddhas, will I myself become a Buddha. If there is one being does not become a Buddha, I will not become a Buddha either. If yet a single being has not accomplished Buddhahood, accordingly I also must renounce Nirvana's bliss. From the time he made that great vow in the presence of that Buddha, land sprint complete in the 10,000 practices thus come one. Until now, a period of time that lasted hundreds of thousands of Nayutas, a very large number in Sanskrit, of inexpressibly another very large number in Sanskrit. Many ends have passed, yet he still is a Bodhisattva who has not realized Buddhahood. Sutra Another time, in considerable Assam Kiyar ends ago, there was a Buddha named Enlightenment, Flower Samadhi Self Mastery King First Come One. That Buddha's lifespan was 400 billion Assam Kiyar ends. Commentary Another time, not just three great Assam Kiyar ends, but much longer, in considerable and unimaginable number of Assam Kiyar ends ago. There was a Buddha named Enlightenment, Flower Samadhi Self Mastery King First Come One. Enlightenment Flower is the cause, Self Mastery King is the effect. Enlightenment Flower is the root, Self Mastery King is the branch. 
This means that he cultivated the flower of enlightenment at the level of causes and certified to the effect of a king of ease. How do we cultivate the flower of enlightenment with concentration? How do we realize the effect of a self-mastery king? It is also through concentration. Where the cause is concentration, the effect is concentration. Enlightenment flower samadhi self-mastery king is the Buddha's unique name. Such common is a name common to all Buddhas. That Buddha's lifespan, there are three explanations for the third common's lifespan according to the Dharma Flower Sutra. There are three others according to the 16 Contemplation Sutra. First, the Buddha's Dharma body is true and thus inseparable from all Dharmas. The true thusness of the Dharma body is not at all different from all Dharmas. Nominant as thus are life. This is difficult to explain because we are caught with the principles as they are. Principles as they are wisdom. Wisdom is states. The Buddha states are wisdom. Wisdom is just states. The Buddha uses wisdom to light up all states. States and wisdom correspond so that states and wisdom are non-dual. When states come, illumine it, then let it go. The Buddha recognizes and understands every state. He is not obstructed by states because he does not recognize them. All those states and wisdom are two. They become one when they have one principle as their span. Wisdom are their life. This is an explanation of lifespan according to the Buddha's retribution body. In terms of the response body or transformational body, its span is 100 years in duration. A centurion lives a long, a centurion lives a long span. The transformational body and the response body live out their span of life. This is an explanation of the three bodies according to the Dharma Flower Sutra. According to the 16 Contemplation Sutra, it is a different set of explanations. How come? The sutra say that the response body may appear coming into being and ceasing like everyone else. The Buddha also appear to come into being and cease to be. That is the Buddha's coming to the world and enter Nirvana. This is coming into being and ceasing. Making production and extinction appear as there are beginnings and ends. As long as there is a beginning, there is an end. This explains the lifespan of a Buddha's response body and a retribution body. Once we acquire the Buddha's retribution body, we have it forever. The lifespan of a Buddha's retribution body has a beginning to it but no end. What about the lifespan of a Dharma body? It is neither a long span nor a short span, since it is impossible to say how long a Buddha's Dharma body will last. It is neither long nor short. It has no beginning or end. This is one explanation of the Buddha's Dharma body. I believe it is very difficult to understand this kind of terminology. This particular Buddha's lifespan was the 400 million Asampiya ends. This kind of lifespan refers to the lifespans of the Buddha's retribution body and response body. Sutra during his Dharma image age, there lived a Brahman man woman endowed with ample blessings with previous lives who was respected by everyone. Whether she was walking, standing, sitting, or lying down, God surrounded and protected her. Her mother, however, embraced a devant faith and often slighted the triple jewel. The worthy daughter made use of many experience in trying to convince her mother to hold right views, but her mother never totally believed. Before long, the mother's life ended, and her consciousness fell into the relentless hell. When her mother's life ended, the Brahma woman, knowing that her mother had not believed in cause and effect while alive, feared that her karma would certainly pull her into the evil paths. 
for that reason, she sold the family house and acquired many kinds of incense, flowers, and other gifts. With those, she performs a great offering in the Buddha stupas and monasteries. Commentary: During his Dharma Image Age, there are three eras to the Buddha Dharma. The age of proper Dharma, the age of image Dharma, the age of decline of Dharma. During the age of proper Dharma, most bhikshus, bhikshunis, upasakas, and upasikas all cultivate sincerely and satisfy to the fruition. This is the age of the proper Dharma, the image Dharma. There are fewer cultivations. The focus is on the superficialities such as repairing stupas and building temples. They are firm in building temples. People are enjoy people all enjoy doing merit by constructing Buddhist temples and Buddhist stupas. They enjoy pursuing blessings and not wisdom. This is the image Dharma age where people are solid in constructing temples. The proper Dharma age lasts 1,000 years. The image Dharma age lasts 1,000 years. The decline of Dharma age lasts 10,000 years. We are now in the age of Dharma on the decline. People during the age of Dharma on the decline are firm in fighting. The age of image Dharma begins once enlightenment of flower samadhi self-mastery king first come on enters nirvana. There lived a Brahma woman. Brahma is an externalist sect in India who cultivates purity. They are vegetarians, cultivate and are celibate, so they are pure. Brahmas cultivate this kind of practice of distancing themselves, but they do not have the essence, the ultimate principles. This is an ancient religion in India and many similar religions of this sort remain in India. Yoga, for example, is a variation of the Brahma, Brahma teachings. The Brahma teachings in China is Taoism, which, which also practices purity. During the image age of enlightenment flower, somebody self-mastery king has come one. There was a Brahman woman who was endowed with ample blessings from previous lives. Although he was a Brahman woman, she had done many good deeds and many meritorious deeds in life's past. That is why he, she is endowed with ample blessings from previous lives, who was respected by everyone. Most people respect her. Why do most people admire her and respect her? It is because she did a lot of merit in past lives and accumulated blessings. Whether someone is good looking depending on his or her merit in past lives. One is perfect looking if one created merit in past lives. Without merit, one's features are imperfect or ugly. The Buddha has 32 features and 30 secondary characteristics. He is adorned with a hundred blessings. What makes 100 blessings? 1,000 good deeds makes one blessing. 10,000 good deeds makes 10 blessings. And 100,000 good deeds make 100 blessings. Shakyamuni accumulated 100 blessings, so he enjoys his 32 features and 80 secondary characteristics. People's looks develop according to causes and conditions in the past. Whether someone is beautiful or not depends on his or her past lives. This Brahman woman was respected by everyone. Most people like to listen to what she says, and most people agree with the things she does.